Hey, what's going on, YouTube family? It's your boy, Quiet Storm, aka Eddie Toby. And um, right now, I'm doing like a real time uh, brush and what would I say? A uh, review on the uh, Texas T. So, this is going to be my part two to what I was telling you guys a few weeks ago, a few days ago. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I got a new tripod. I'm trying to like work out the angles or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So, I got like a Note 8 type phone, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm trying to work on, I'm still working on my camera. I have a camera now, so crazy new guy, my, my, my wife's camera. Uh, I'll see if we get a few things for it. Like I told you guys, man, I'm really uh, adamant about making my YouTube channel uh, better quality wise, you know what I'm saying? So just kind of like work with me, you know? Uh, so we talk about we even we talk about you know inspirational messages, uh, God centered messages and whatnot. You know what I mean? Uh, family theme, talking about my wife who come along, you know, inside of me. Uh, I really just want to make this video kind of quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how I applied it uh, since I've been you know using the Texas tea. First thing, man, is I love the smell. You know what I'm saying? I love the smell, bro. This is so amazing. Um, something I didn't mention uh, the first time was on the ingredients. Uh, it has directions. It has active ingredients. And the active ingredients uh, for the product is argan oil, which is like, it's funny because um, early this year, 2019, we were about to hit 2020, uh, I was using a lot of argan oil. I was using a lot of argan oil. Uh, conditions, I would say. I'm sure there's too much noise. Um, this also has bow, boy bad oil. I haven't done some research on that. Uh, grapeseed oil, which is really good for regrowing your hair and to like strengthen your, your cuticles, or not cuticles, excuse me, uh, your roots. I don't know why I'm talking about like, feet and nails and all that. You know, so we get it for uh, Safflower oil and sunflower oil. Uh, optional ingredients, peppermint and tea tree oil and fragrance. Um, so yeah, so he has his directions on here. So here's the bottle, sorry. So if you guys have, have not seen the bottle from my last video, uh, I suggest you go back and look at it. It's uh, the bottle. Uh, the dude's, uh, my brother's name is uh, Justin Lewis, aka Justin the Time, Jay Lou, and Don. Uh, science is the way, man. You know what I'm saying? I love this guy, man. He's, he's uh, very, very factual, very, very like um, detail. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I've just been watching him, following him for about two years now, some years. Cause, uh, I'm OG Waver, man, believe it or not. And I've been around since like 2012, 2013. So I've seen a lot. And I've seen uh, people come and go. I've seen people win the Wave King. And they fall in the face of the map. But this brother right here, he won Wave King back in, uh, I want to say 2016. Uh, has a lot of great like videos, man, you know, about just getting waved. And, Improving the hair health, and uh, that's the thing that I think you know a lot of people try to give him like a lot of flack for is uh, you know uh, you got average waves, you got this and that. But the thing is, if you have if you do have average waves, you have ample amount of time to get your waves better. You know what I mean? My waves are great. I don't care what nobody say. You know what I mean? Because I get compliments like almost every day from people on the streets. Like, yo, dude, yo, you, you dipping, dog, you know, what you doing, what you, what you, what you put in your hair, what you brush with, what kind of rags you use. I get all that all the time. I get more play, um, in, you know, in, in real life than I do on uh, wave forums and the, and the YouTube channels and the pages. So, like I said, at the end of the day, man, if you, people are coming to you, you know, like, and doing that and they are doing something good. Like, I remember if I, have my, I got back from being uh, out of the sea. And uh, this this kid, man, you know, he seen me take off my do rag, and he was like, "Yo, man, you dipping, man, you dipping." You know, it's like I said, you cheese. You know, it's like a kid, he had like fro long hair, but he just seeing how, yo, know, he just really, really appreciated how I was um, doing my thing. So at the end of the day, man, like, you know, I I got forks in my hair, but I'm working on breaking them joints, and it just it just takes time and patience. You feel me? So at the end of the day, man, let me just go ahead and show you guys how I'll do. I'm going to use my brush. This is a soft brush, white bristles. Anytime you get a brush that has white bristles, a lot of, uh, 
long story short, it's gonna be it's gonna mean that it's a polisher, finish your brush. This is what you use uh, towards the end of your your brush session. All right. Um, of course, you can modify that, but because I'm, I'm applying uh, the Texas C for this video, and I'm gonna uh, also apply a little bit of vitamin E aloe, uh, aloe excuse me, vitamin E oil. It says for hair, skin, and nails. Okay, because you believe it or not, your hair, skin, and nails is made from the same material. When God created you, He created the same way. You, uh, the same material that makes that makes your nails, makes your skin. It makes your hair. Uh, I don't know how God does it, but it is what it is. So excuse me, my voice is kind of like gone. I had a little congestion going on. I took like a lot of music nature, a lot of water. Try to kick out the, the little bug, whatever. So, all right, so enough talking. Let's get into it. I'm gonna try to like where this iPod or iPad, yeah, iPod best I can. Oh um, man, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. It says on a bottle. shampoo but uh, dimes to a quarter size amount of Texas tea so dimes are a quarter size so for me because my hair is very very porous it, which means that it absorbs a lot of moisture I'm going to apply a good amount you know what I'm saying by the way I also have some at my job so I have my rags and my brushes you know what I mean at my job man so let me go ahead and get a get serving I'm going to use about this much right here guys okay so I'll kind of bear with me real quick Let's get into it. Try to work this new camera angle I got. So please, if I mess it up, don't don't get mad at me. Please forgive me. All right. I know it's like this is the best bathroom I got down here, but in the day, man, this is it is what it is. So I try to apply it in my crown areas where your hair grows at, guys. If you didn't know that, uh, my temple areas is kind of thin, so we'll put some there. Okay. Uh, put some in the front hairline. And Tim Blake, Kevin Durant. And let's put some throughout my entire hair, okay? It's, it smells like really good, man. I can't remember like what flavor this is. Um, I don't know if you're watching. I don't know if you if you if you will watch this, but man, bro, if you can put like the flavor, flavor the scent, excuse me. If you can put like the scent on here, man. I'll be perfect, bro, because I don't, I mean, unless I'm missing it, yeah. <coughs> I know when I ordered it, I got the dragon fruit uh, the scent for it. It smells really good, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like a lot of, like, natural stuff. So I'm just kind of like, look at this big mirror right here that's behind y'all that y'all can't see. But, it, like I said, man, I'm not trying to clog my pores up, but... Cause I know my hair and now that uh at the end of the day <coughs> excuse me guys you know that at the end of the day man you know um my hair absorbs my scalp is absorbs a lot of moisture you know what I'm saying so let's go ahead and get into it real quick let me make this video kind of quick so I applied it to the necessary areas oh by the way I got like a high taper um you know wave check for my family you know what I mean so yeah, man, I went and got a wave check, you know, or, or a high taper. Uh, when the season, I, I like it. I'm really loving it. I'm really feeling it. I'm trying to tilt my head so you can see my waves and uh, make sure you know you guys get a full scoop of that. Use my hair mirror so I can better keep my angles and whatnot. And I'm gonna do just brush the product in real quick. But like I said, man, I'm, I mean my waves are like nearly set. Uh, 2018, I did a lot of brushing this year. I've been doing like, a lot of shifting. Um, that's just the way the game goes, man. I normally, it wouldn't want to take a waiver uh, two to three years. They had a set pattern, you know, and that's just, and then that requires you uh, cutting low during the spring and summertime the, the, during the, uh, the heat season, you know. So anybody, let me tell you something. If you're trying to shift, if you want to break forks, man, cut low. You know what I mean? Cut low, and you can break your fork and adjust your angles. You know what I mean? When you're wolfing, get a, a hard or medium firm or a hard brush. And uh, when you, what can I say? When you get ready to uh, basically 
break those forks, man. Just, you know, get your comb and comb at an angle. You know what I mean? Everything that I do, I've been doing it consistently. It's the same thing I've done like years ago, like real talk. And I'm a firm believer in if something's not broken, they don't fix it, man. So it's like, why would I create uh, more forks, more angles for something I see in somebody else's hair? Like, that's stupid. You know what I'm saying? In the, the day, if you can just, you know, be blessed by doing the same thing that um, you've been doing for years, then don't mess it up. And that's something I had to learn as like a, a rookie waiver is that at the end of the day, man, you know, what, what may work for this person may not work for you. You know what I'm saying? So what I had to do is I had to take what the um, elites were doing and I had to simply basically uh, modify it for my hairstyle, you know? Because I'm getting older, man. I'll be, you know, I'm not going to tell my age, but I'll be a certain age in, in April of 2020 and my hair is thinning, you know? But so as long as I have a solid line, my hair's not like balding. This is the difference between balding and thinning. When it's thin, um, there's a tip for you guys who's, who has thin hair. Uh, when you're thinning, basically what you want to do is you just want to keep your hair thick, you know what I'm saying? Or keep it low in a sense, but not too low to where you're going against the grain. You're going against the grain, that's very dangerous. Why? Because when you're going against the grain, you're basically killing the roots in your scalp and you're giving your hair less chance, less of a chance to grow back and come back thicker and stronger. Uh, I've always referred to this, you know, when I'm uh, doing my wave videos, I remember a point in time in which, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the point in time in which I had a, a, a fade, curly, uh, you know, like long hair on top, shorter in the back and the sides, like, you know, like a skin fade, but just had like the, uh, you know, the high top joint, like kid and play, but his curls punched it. And when I decided to scalp that, or not scalp, that's bad terminology, when I cut it off and um, all of a sudden I had like, a, you know, all like, I had like no waves, my edges and my temples came in like really uh, good. So what I'm saying is, at the end of the day, man, when you um, decide to like not wear a do-rag and grow your hair out, you can really do some great things, man. You know, that's all I'm getting at. But you gotta know your hair, you gotta know what works for you. And at the time, I wasn't waving no more, but I miss having waves. And so, you know, at the end of the day, it's just like, man, I gotta get back on the wave game. And a lot of things, you know, I still remembered from when I had a set pattern, like, going on four years ago now. I mean, a lot of times I wish I still had that, those set of waves. Cause it was different. I had like maybe I had no more than three forks. I think two on my right side at the time, and maybe one in the back, and maybe one on the left side if I can remember. But I always share like old TBD, TBT uh, pictures, you know, throwback Thursday pictures of those uh, waves. Cause they're like really, really uh, dope in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so yeah, so I mean that's basically it, man. You know what I mean? So I went ahead and I'm looking at my hair. Oh, sorry. So I'm looking at my hair now, and I'm just by looking at the big mirror behind you guys. It's my hair looks really rich, looks really uh, dark in the areas that I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Um, so what I was saying earlier, I'm sorry. What I was saying earlier about the uh, when you have thinning hair. You always want to get your cut with the grain. Trust me, for my thin hair waivers, if you don't pay attention to nothing else I've told you, I've said to you this evening, please hear me when I say this. You want to keep the width the grain cuts. I will mess around and uh, back in September, I went against the grain and my hair looked nearly bald in certain areas. And a lot of these kids that uh, watched me, man, they, they thought that I was like, oh, you cut your waves out. So no, I didn't. And they, all I did was simply like cut low enough to wear. I wanted a mean wolf like for eight weeks because I'm, I'm going to be them texture waver. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell. So let me go ahead. You guys around turn of what the waves is looking like. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, there we go. It's my little tripod. I got it from Family Dollar, so don't make fun of me. Well, uh, I'm saying doing on the budget. <laughs> Yeah, man. So, I was, like, it, as you can, if anybody who knows waves knows they have like a almost darn near set pattern. You know what I'm saying? Let me get that right down. Fix that line. It's irking me. I'm sorry. It's OCD a little bit. So yes, yeah, so this is my back. Yeah, it's like it's like a set pattern. It's almost two years of waving right here, man. Just so you guys know, almost two years of waving. You know what I'm saying? Switch my hands real quick. Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> All right, so you got my top, top of the dome, top of the top side. So I brush them on my left joint. So yeah, like I said, my hair is thin in certain areas, but I'm not balding to where I need to like scalp and just go like bald head, you know what I'm saying, old man type deal. Nah, I don't, I don't, I don't got time for that yet. I ain't doing that, you know what I'm saying? So I got some hair to play with, you know, so I'm going to keep doing it till whenever, till the Lord call me home and Spirit of God shut my eyes. So yeah, so like I said, man, you know, here's my front line. Looks pretty good. It's pretty solid. Well, from what I've seen of other people that's younger than me or older than me. And, uh, yeah, it's a high taper, man. Like I said, it, it came in pretty good. I got a cut, like, last Saturday, and I was just not feeling it, man. I'm very, very picky, you know, because my hair is very soft, very thin. And at the end of the day, man, it's like you got to be very, very cautious as to um, who you let cut your hair and the whole nine. At the end of the day, like I said, you know, I'm getting older, but my hairline's pretty good for the most part. You know, at the end of the day, um, if I were to go bald, then I would have to have a beard. I can't have, like, a, <laughs> I just cannot have a, a bald head, man, and, and no type of facial hair, because then, you know, <laughs> at that point in time, man, it's just like, I look like a, I'd be a creep, you know, looking like the type of dude. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't trying to add that, so let me shut this camera back down. Yeah, you know, the video's official. You drop the, the phone, drop the camera, man. It's crazy. So, at the end of the day, man, that's just, you know, I'm going to name this video uh, How to Get Through 60 Waves, uh, Apply in Texas Tea with whatever uh, product. And that's what I want to uh, leave you guys with. So, again, it also says on the bottle that you can add it to something else because it's an oil. You can always use a conditioner. You can always use a moisturizer. Uh, probably even a pomade because it's winter season, guys. So, again, if you're a waiver man and you're trying to, like, uh, up your game and get better at doing things, bro, like, sis, you, you could girls wave too. Uh, do your thing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, don't don't just be copying off of what somebody else is doing and saying in a day do your thing You know hold it down and you will be good. You will be straight. So this is a uh, quiet storm aka Toby Eddie Toby signing off man. I'll be blessed. Y'all have a uh, wonderful week man. Great weekend